2018, December 22nd. Um, it's about a little bit before 7 o'clock in the morning. This is Glentana Main Beach. We are going to do the, the wreck and cave hikes this morning at low tide, the spring low tide. And we're going to head in that easterly direction across the rocks and along the beach for about three and a half kilometers. And then turn around and come back home again. It promises to be quite an adventure. I hope to show you all the nice spots along the way. Quite a couple of caves, a um, little bit of rock scrambling, and we'll probably get our feet wet at some stage as well. It's about 10 past 7. We're going to start the hike now. We're going to head towards the east that direction. That's the way down the stairs from where we come. That's the view up to the, the beach towards Great Brack and around the bay towards Mossel Bay. All right, here we go. It's about 20 past 7 and this is Byclip uh, in English Bay Rock and once you pass here going over the rocks over here in the front um, there are multiple ways of doing it at low tide um, you can go over the rocks or you can go in front of the rocks depending on where the water line goes If the water is too high, then this is the way over the rocks. There's a marker at the top and we'll start climbing over here. So you can see it's fairly rough terrain, but uh, the water today is fairly low, so we're going to go around the front way. It's about 25 past 7 and this is the usual way of coming over the rocks instead of going down around the front. That's the way ahead facing east. Turning around. And that's the path over the rocks. As I've said, it's fairly uneven ground. But if the water is low enough, going around the front is relatively easy going. I'm going to go over the top to show you just what it's like. This is the way over the rocks. Quite a bit of scrambling. It's easy enough to do. It might look worse than what it is. Yep, we're going up here. Just like stairs. Yep, just like stairs. Only a little bit more messy. A little bit more messy, as you say. And here we are at the top, so that wasn't too hard. There's the view ahead. Quite a nice day for a hike. We're going around the first set of rocks here, and then the next set of rocks, and then the third set of rocks, 
and the fourth set of rocks and then we'll get to the caves. Over there is our first cave actually, it's quite a deep one. And also a piece of climbing that uh, in some circles are known, is known as Geseip uh, de Krans. There isn't really a proper English translation, I suppose you might call it high stoned cliff because it's high and you need to be stoned to climb it down. Um, I was once in a situation with a group of school kids and we um, had to climb it down with heavy weekend camping packs because the water level was just too high for us to pass the, around the front. But today is going to be easy going. Coming down is a little bit more tricky. It's not that it's more steep. It's just that your body orientation is a little bit different and you need to check your balance. Then we're going over the rocks. As you can see there's no smooth path. And we're going up to the cave for our first little bit of cave crawling. It's about half past seven. This is the way up to the cave entrance. There we go. Okay, it's quite dark. Uh, there, the lighting, lighting on the video is improving a bit. It's quite a substantial cave, um, sufficient space for quite a few people to overnight. Um, goes in quite a way. Let's say this is the main chamber. That's the way back to the entrance. And yeah, the end is up there. Um, I'm going to take out a flashlight to go all the way. Right, who's ready for a bit of cave crawling? Flashlights on and don't step in the hole. It's not a very deep hole. Whoops. And the one major danger of cave crawling like this is bumping your head. Silly as it may sound, it can be quite um, painful. What about on this side? It's so gooey. Gooey? Where? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, got some stalactites growing from the roof. Let's see if I can get the lighting a little bit better. Here we go. There's a nice one. And there's a little droplet forming. Okay, it's getting darker as we're moving further into the cave. Here's some substantial stalagmites growing from the floor but they've all been broken off through the years let's see if i can get a better shot where are they okay.
if people don't break them off, then uh, the stalactites and the stalagmites might grow to reach each other from the roof and from the floor. But that'll take a good couple of years. Yeah. This is as deep as it goes. There's not much more there. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It's actually pretty deep into the paint. Yep. I suppose it's about. Okay. I suppose it's about. I don't know. Thirty meters to the cave entrance. It goes in quite far. This is one of the bigger caves. Really? Yep. It's about twenty to eight, and coming out of the cave, we will be turning to our left, going east along the beach. Don't slip on the rocks, even though they seem to be dry. Sand under your feet can uh, become rather slippery. And that's the way ahead. Sometimes this little gully is full with water and you need to get your feet wet or climb along that way over the rocks. Often enough, uh, okay, it's about, still about 20 to 8. Often enough, all of the sand gets washed out every couple of months or so. And then it's just rocks that you need to climb over. It's not an easy hike. And uh, the sand washed out, the water can come in higher. And you can't really walk here either. And you need to go over the, over the rocks at the top. Climb up over there. Let's see if I can demonstrate quickly. Going over the top over there is not the way to go. That is the way to Gesape de Kranz where you have to be Gesape to climb it. Um, but over here you can quickly scoot along if the water pulls out. And then go over the top. This might not be too comfortable. Some people do not feel comfortable leaning out over this little precipice here. This rock over here is protruding quite far, so you can turn around and go up the hill. You can see there's a path over the top, but that leads to Gesape de Kranz. Don't do that, please. And from the top, this little bay over here is called Happy Bay. Um, it seems to be quite a happy little bay. That's the way we've come. And there we go.